Yesterday, I got sent a post about a before and after photo, and I immediately recognised the person in the post. Back in February, she used the coronavirus pandemic to sell supplements, which I took issue with. At a time where people are literally dying, pimping supplements for profit in the absence of any solid data seems a little bit shitty. Anyway, I got called upon to weigh in with my stance on the science, and obviously, Talking about science tickles my testicles. So I thought it was finally time to make a video about ketone supplements. You may be one of many people who notices that lots of people are promoting these at the moment. So you can increase your production of endogenous ketones, that means within the body, by restricting the amount of carbohydrate you eat. Alternatively, you can supplement with exogenous ketones, that means so ketone supplements can come in the form of ketone esters or ketone salts. And a big selling point is that you can achieve the benefits, sorry, benefits of ketogenic diets without the dietary restriction. The most accurate way for me to demonstrate what they're marketed for is to let the manufacturers speak for themselves. Instantly feel what world-class athletes and biohackers spend weeks trying to accomplish. Your body will be in nutritional ketosis and you'll get all the benefits that come with that. Increased fat loss, more mental clarity and focus, tons of extra energy. Was it just me or did that feel super sleazy? I kind of want to wash after watching that. Okay, so you can get all the benefits of a keto diet without being on a keto diet. This can't be what they're marketing it as, surely. Let's look at another brand. Experience deep ketosis and elevated blood ketone levels without having to follow an excessively restrictive low carb diet. You will simply enjoy all the benefits of the keto diet without the restrictions. The perfect tool for easy fat burning. Well, this sounds fucking fantastic. And you can understand why people sign up for it, right? All the benefits, but without the restriction. Let's go back to brand one and click on their handy research tab. They do have one study listed for weight loss, but this study wasn't actually about keto supplements at all. It was a study where they put people on a ketogenic diet for 24 weeks where they were only allowed to eat 30 grams of carbs or less per day. No control group either to show that keto is superior. Now in fairness to some keto companies, some of them claim that they don't actually result in weight loss at all like this one. But it does say that it helps cravings, so let's look at that. There is a study showing that supplemental ketones do help appetite and hunger when compared to a dextrose drink. Now given that sugary drinks aren't exactly the most satiating thing in the world, it's probably not fair to say that ketone supplements are more satiating than, you know, actual food. That still remains to be seen. But some of the marketing around keto supplements is probably the best fucking case of misdirection that I've ever seen. Let's pretend that the weight loss that can be achieved by reducing calories on a keto diet can be achieved just the same way by adding a supplement in to your existing diet. So to summarize, yes, there is research showing that supplements can raise your ketone levels temporarily. Yes, there is other research showing that ketogenic diets can result in fat loss when those diets are calorie controlled. No, adding supplements in to your existing diet is not the same fucking thing. And companies using this research to support this claim are unethical. Further demonstrated by the fact that a lot of them won't even tell you how many ketones are in their supplement. That's because they use less than the studies, but they don't want to tell you that. Some companies also claim that you will get better energy and performance, but then they put caffeine in it. Caffeine kind of does that too and like really well. But sure, it's definitely the ketones. So here is a list of all the studies in humans showing that adding keto supplements into your diet will result in weight loss. And as you can see, this is blank because they don't fucking exist. 